couple of other kind of finishing touches I want to show before moving on to advanced retargeting is uh, what to do when you're kind of finished. Well, obviously you can keep working in the uh, with the three NLA tracks and keep it like that. I'm sure some artists will not want to do that for various reasons. So it's actually very simple what you can do. Just select them all. Open up the bake action operator. Set your frames. I'm going to clear only selected. Whoops. Pose an object. And this takes a moment. And it'll bake everything we've done, whether it's <coughs> auto fixes that have been baked in the NLA track, manual fixes that we added in later, whatever it is, everything has now gotten moved to just an action called action. And there you have it. Uh, now another very useful thing you can do is, so now that we've baked the entire retarget to a single action, we can just go into the back to the properties menu and hit samples to Bezier's and this is a quite a lengthy process because it mathematically is pretty complex but this will process the curves the F curves for the entire animation and simplify the curves that is instead of having a sample on each frame it will convert it into Bezier's that appear well, every five frames every ten frames it automatically figures out what the best configuration is to minimize the difference between the heavily sampled data and the Bezier curves and also it places keyframes on the same frame for every bone that is the rotation in the X Y and Z axis of a single bone will have the same keyframe. That is, uh, on the, s the same frame, their values will be keyframed. So this process takes a while, usually around two minutes, for, s for an animation like this containing about 20 bones over 500 frames. Uh, again, you can see the progress and output in the console window. So we're just going to wait until this process ends. And now we can see the process finished. And instead of keyframes on every frame, it's kind of been modified to be more efficient. And you can see that without losing much of the animation fidelity. Oh, that was a bad keyframe. We can just delete it. Um, we have a baked motion capture retargeted to our own armature. If we just enter the graph editor, hit home, and do that, you can see nice Bezier curves instead of samples on every frame. Uh, I just want to mention, uh, I didn't develop this, but there's also a second tool for, for performing this operation. Uh, it's quicker, but it's, uh, its performance is not as good in terms of specifically for motion capture, and also it doesn't set the keyframes on every frame correctly but under add curve you can see there's the simplify curves written by test screenings and you can hit simplify f curves convert samples is my tool simplify f curves is his here you can increase the l you want i use the default l value and that also allows you to simplify the L's, but as you can see, it can often create artifacts, especially if you're using quarter neon rotation and not Euler translation on your bones. 
Alright, so the next step would be advanced retargeting.